The Elephant and the Dog There lived an elephant, Jumbo, in the royal stable. The king was fond of Jumbo, and he had ordered that the elephant should be looked after well. In spite of royal comforts, Jumbo was sad because he had no friends. The Mahut, elephant trainer, was the only one he ever interacted with. The Mahut was a kind man who served Jumbo food and gave him a bath in the elephant pond daily. He was very kind-hearted man. He was a good caretaker, but not a friend. I wish I had a friend I can play with, thought Jumbo. One late evening, a dog strayed into the stable. Jumbo could see that the visitor was tired and hungry. He pushed some of the food he was munching towards the dog. The visitor wagged his tail, looked up at the elephant to convey his thanks, and then turned his full attention to the food in front of him. As soon as he finished eating, he fell asleep. Next morning, the Mahut found the stray dog in the stable. He did not mind the dog. He also noticed that Jumbo seemed to like the company of the dog. So, he threw some crumbs to the dog which the animal accepted, wagging his tail. When the elephant went out for a bath, the dog accompanied his friend. Plunging into water, the elephant gave himself a shower using his long trunk, as the dog watched. The elephant took a trunk full of water and playfully splashed the water on the dog. The dog yelped for he hated taking bath. The Mahut laughed. On their way home, the elephant picked the dog with his trunk and placed him on his back. The dog was delighted to get a ride. Since then a farmer passing by saw the dog and yelled. Rudy. The dog ran to him. The farmer hugged the dog and told the Mahut that he was looking for his dog ever since he disappeared from his house. He was glad he found him now. The Mahut had no objection to the farmer taking the dog home. The farmer tossed a rope round the neck of the dog saying, Come Rudy, let's go home. Only when the farmer pulled the rope, the dog realized that he was being taken away from his friend. He yelped, the elephant winced, but neither the farmer nor the Mahut noticed that the two friends were in tears. The next day at lunchtime the Mahut served Jumbo his favorite food. When the Mahut came back after finishing his other works, he was surprised to see that the food had remained untouched. Why Jumbo, aren't you hungry? He asked concerned. The elephant did not react. He may have slight indigestion. Let me not force him to eat. Thought the Mahut. That night too, Jumbo did not take his food nor the next day. Now, the Mahut was worried. He ran his hand on Jumbo's tummy and felt there was nothing wrong. Why was he not eating then? Is he missing his friend, that dog? Mahut wondered. Meanwhile at the farmer's house the dog had not touched the food ever since he was brought home. Are you missing your friend? Asked the farmer remembering the happy look on Rudy's face while sitting on the elephant's back. I cannot bear seeing you go hungry. Said the farmer. If you miss your friend so much, go to him. The farmer removed the rope with which he had tied the dog. The dog, though weak, sprang to his feet. He licked the farmer's hand once and then ran. He stopped only when he arrived at the stable. The delighted elephant picked up the dog with his trunk and gave him a joy swing. The Mahut was relieved. He quickly brought the food. The delighted elephant picked up the dog in its trunk. Both of you eat first. Mahut said. 
By then the farmer who had followed the dog joined him. The two of them watched with satisfaction the two friends eating food.